Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Ahead Style and thank you for watching my video. If you're new, welcome. And if you've been here before, thank you for coming back. I have live swatches of three polishes that are going to be available in the October animation theme polish pickup. The shop is opening on Friday, October 2nd. You're gonna wanna load up your cart because there are some beautiful polishes this month and the three that I have for you are no exception. So if you wanna check out my blog post which has pricing, cap, um, more photos, you can check that out in the description below and I've also got a link to the shop down there. So I think we should just get into the swatches. So first up we have Paint It Pretty Polish. I'm not a prize to be won. This one is inspired by Jasmine from Aladdin and Sherry completely nailed the inspiration. So it is described as a light blue sheer base with tons of gold to green to pink iridescent flakes. This one, the flakies are completely on fire. They're so beautiful. You can really see it here already in the video just after one coat, but I applied three coats to get full opacity for myself. And I think for most people, because there are so many flakes, you're definitely going to be happy at three coats because the flakes just cover anything you would be concerned about if you have a free edge or anything. So this is absolutely gorgeous. And as you can see here, the flakes really do shift to so many colors and yeah, it's just a gorgeous polish. So I actually put top coat on, glossy top coat and a MAC top coat as you're going to see in a second. And shockingly, I actually think I like this even more with a matte top coat. It's just so beautiful. Okay, next up we have My Indie Polish Bedtime Bear. And this one is inspired by Bedtime Bear from the Care Bears. So it is a polish that is a Crelly and it is a soft baby blue with neon yellow dots in various sizes and white stars in two different sizes. There actually might even be three. So as you can see here, those yellow dots are very plentiful and there's no issues getting them out at all. I just shook this up and applied it right out of the bottle and I'm getting already a lot of the neon yellow and then those two stars on my index finger with really no effort at all. And as with all my indie polishes, I find her formula, whatever base she uses is very, like it suspends the glitters really well. So I just used one coat of a glossy top coat and it did the trick. There was no texture. It didn't look thirsty at all. As you can see here, tons of stars. And yeah, they look completely smooth and glossy, which is something really special about this polish. So I'm a huge fan. I love it. So last up we have Girly Bits. Put that thing back where it came from. This one is inspired by Mike Wazowski from Monsters, Inc. Uh, this is described as a vibrant green to blue multi-chrome that shifts through shades of lime green, emerald, and turquoise with flashes of bright sapphire at the edges. I was able to achieve opacity in three coats. The formula is buttery smooth. There are absolutely no brush strokes at all, even when you're applying it. And for a multi-chrome, I don't know. I think this is my favorite multi-chrome ever. Um, I don't even usually like greens that much, but there's something so special, luxurious, elegant, unique about this polish. I love everything about it. And I think this is going to be a fast favorite for a lot of you, so. I know I say it every month, but all three of these makers did an incredible job. I love all three polishes. To me, you're not gonna be disappointed with any of these. So definitely let me know in the comments if you're picking the girly bits up, the Paint It Pretty polish up, the Miami polish up, if you're gonna pick all of them up. Also let me know what your must-haves are this month. I must have the polish by, I believe it's Never Enough Polish. It's called Killer Tofu and it's inspired by Doug, which was like my cartoon growing up and I love tofu, so I need that polish for sure. And there are others that I definitely need. So let me know what's on your list and I will see you in the next video. Bye.